Hello and welcome to Worthy Woman Healing. I am Lisa Cizak, your host, healing women's minds, bodies, and souls one trigger at a time. On today's episode, we are answering the question of how do you know when you are healed? And of course, within that, we're going to be talking about triggers and trauma. Stay tuned. Before I get started, don't forget to like, rate, subscribe, all the things so that even more women can heal their minds, bodies, and souls one trigger at a time by listening to Worthy Woman Healing Podcast. So this is the first episode of the rebrand that I did. I was the Potty Mouth Preacher, now I'm Worthy Woman Healing Podcast because Women need healing more than ever right now, right? You hear this, it's like a buzzword that's going around though. Healing journey, I'm on a healing journey, hashtag healing journey. What does that even mean? And how do you know when you are healed? That's what I'm going to help you with today. So a healing journey is really just living your life. Let's face it, life is just one big, long healing journey, right? And how do you know you're healed? You know you're healed when you can think about that toxic person, when you can think about that narcissist, when you can think about that abuser, when you can think about that person that exploited you, when you can think about all the experiences that happened around that, right? When you can think about any negative experience in your life with no emotion attached to it, that's how you know when you are healed. So for example, I got in the best shape of my life and then I was groomed and sex trafficked by an executive producer of true crime shows. And that's my book. If you want to know more about that story, it's all in the book. Now you see how the way that just rattled off my tongue, right? I said that to you no different than as if, if I was reading you a cupcake recipe. Now it wasn't always like that, right? Before, I wouldn't even be sharing that with you, much less in front of an audience worldwide, right? Millions of people listening and watching. I was sitting, I was cloaked in shame. I thought I was having an affair. I was actually being sexually exploited. I was being groomed by a sex trafficker. There's a conversation stopper, right? What's your book about? I say that and they're like, oh. And then other people get emotional. Oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm healed. Like I'm okay, right? But for a long time, I knew I wasn't even close to being healed because I was suffering in silence. That's the hallmark, really, of being in an unhealed state, right? Not using your voice to share your story, not seeking help to, you know, heal yourself in this situation. And in abuse situations, most women don't know that they're being abused. I didn't know I was being sex trafficked. I didn't know I was being sexually exploited, right? I just thought I'm like this dance mom who, you know, was having a really bad marriage. It was experiencing emotional and financial abuse in my marriage. And he was like a knight in shining armor that showed up. And you can read it all about it in the book. Steve put up the link there so they can buy the book if they want to. <laughs> Anyway, my point is I can share this story now. I can go and I can tell my story to strangers. I can share it, you know, on a platform of a million people in person, on podcasts and shows, whatever, and not get emotional about it because I have healed that, which was not just one wound, right? There was a ton of wounds attached to that, as you can imagine, so we can't talk about healing unless we talk about triggers because it's not really what, it's not the event that's traumatic. 
The trauma is how your body responds to that toxic event, to that abuse, to whatever it is, just being mistreated, being bullied, right? It could go back to when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I ate lunch alone. I had to do healing on that at one point, right? And so it really has more to do with how your body responds, not what actually happened to you. So that's why I say that on this show, right, and on my healing retreats that I take women on, on Worthy Women Healing Group that I do twice a month, we help women heal their mind, body, and soul, because that's where the trauma lives. It lives in your mind, it lives in your body, and it resides in your soul, one trigger at a time. And we do that by getting out of your mind and into your body. But that's an episode I'll be will be coming up. I'm going to teach you how to do that technique because trauma lives inside your body. And then your mind replays it over and over and over again on a continuous loop. Now that gets me into trauma. What is trauma, right? Another buzzword you hear, right? Trauma recovery, trauma informed, trauma care. What does that even mean? Well, trauma, how do I know if I have trauma? I hear this all the time. I don't know. I never, I was never abused. I was never in an abusive relationship. I was, I wasn't sex trafficked and exploited like you were, Lisa. So I don't think I really have trauma. Well, if you're alive and breathing and human and walking on this earth, you have had trauma. Just being born is traumatic, right? Everybody has had trauma. Trauma is on a continuum. What was traumatic for me may not have affected you at all. So we got to be careful. We can't be judging other people's trauma, right? I had that happen actually in a group that I did, these healing groups that I do. I actually had one woman share her story and then, which was of sexual abuse when she was a child. And then the other woman in the group was like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to share mine. Mine seems so minor compared to yours, right? Because hers had to do with like me, like sitting alone at lunch, not being invited to the party. And so she was judging her trauma based on this other woman's trauma on this continuum. And I'm like, no, it still affected you, right? Because it creates wounds inside of us. So your heart, picture, if I had a whiteboard, I draw a heart, right? But just picture your heart. And from the time you were born, every time somebody said something mean to you or even had a thought, like as an infant, right? We have, infants can feel energy and thoughts. So it creates like a little a wound, a little gash, right? And so as you're growing up, it's like, boom, 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 boom. You have all of these gashes in your heart and they just kind of sit there until one day somebody, as you're an adult, somebody says something to you and you're like, your heart starts racing and you start shaking and you don't even understand, understand why. That's one of those unhealed wounds coming, shooting out. And then one shoots out and another shoots out and another shoots out, like in your marriage. Then when you have a child, like in motherhood, right? And then with a friend or your employer or, and all of these wounds start shooting out. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, help. And that's usually when you come to me, right? Or maybe you're tuning into this podcast because you feel like you're going crazy or your, your childhood trauma is playing out in your marriage, right? You had a very unhealthy you know, family environment, or maybe you had a very controlling dad and he was narcissistic. You didn't have the words for it back then. And now suddenly you find yourself in a narcissistic marriage. You're like, what happened? I don't understand. Well, our brains like familiarity, right? Especially the trauma brain. The trauma brain loves familiarity. Even if it's unhealthy familiarity, our brains like that. And so these are the kinds of things that we're going to be talking about on the show. So to recap, how do you know you're healed? When you have no more emotion attached, you can think about the bad experience, the bad person, right? With no emotion attached to it. That's how you know when you're healed. How do you know if you have trauma? Well, you, if you're alive and breathing, you have trauma, and it lives inside your body. The trauma is not the event. The trauma is how your body responded to the event. So you deal with trauma by going into your body, not into your mind. 
The third thing are triggers, right? How do you know if you're triggered? Well, triggers are attached to those emotions, those feelings. So somebody says something to you, right? Somebody, you see something, something, it, you, there's an external event that takes place, whether that be a person, place, or thing that causes you to feel a really bad feeling in your body. You're shaking, your heart is racing, you have a lump in your throat. That is being triggered. So stay tuned because the next episode, we're going to talk about how to deal with all these things, how to actually get to the healed state, how to handle triggers, and how to heal trauma. So your soul work right now, your soul work is to simply be aware right? Notice when your body is reacting to something and say, oh, that's a trigger. Notice if it brings up any memory of some, how does this feel familiar? Oh, that happened to me in childhood. And then also notice, wow, that really would have affected me before, but now it doesn't affect me at all. I'm healed, baby. And remember, you are worth it.